Hi, so I decided to quick do a quick video on the pros and cons of bunk beds. Uh, now that I've moved a bunk bed like six times in the past six months, I know a lot of pros and cons to it. So to start off, uh, moving bunk beds are a pain in the bum. Like con 100%. I hate moving bunk beds. Each little screw that you have to take off and then take off the top thing and then take off the bottom and take off all the boards and then unscrew and rescrew and find the little the little like nut things that go up inside oh it's awful don't don't take bunk beds apart they're terrible that is a huge con for me i would totally do a twin bed over moving a bunk bed any day so that's a number one major con for me a number two con is i'm always terrified that my kids are gonna like fall off and like strangle themselves or hurt themselves really bad. I I think I never even thought about that growing up. I always had a bunk bed when I was little with my sisters. And so, yeah, pro, I mean, con, 100%. I'm always afraid of that. Now, pros, my kids love their bunk bed. They get so excited. I made a bunk bed a while ago. It was like a little barn bunk bed. And we moved and we couldn't take it with us. And so my kids talked about it for months that they missed their barn bunk bed. And so I decided to get another bunk bed and they love it. Like they, I can hear them in the morning. They like pillow talk all the time. My little girl's on the top and my little boy's on the bottom. And they like are always talking about their little lives. And I think it's so cute to hear them talking to themselves. So uh, that's a pro for me. Another pro is they can play lots of fun things like pirate ship. I like make the bed and pull out the bunk bed from the wall so that I can change the sheets and they like get to ride on the bunk bed. And I think they, they think it's the bee's knees. It's super fun. So that's a super big pro for them. Okay. Con changing sheets on a bunk bed. Have you ever done that? It is terrible. Uh, don't attempt it. It's terrible. Anyways, you have to, cause you have to change sheets, but changing bunk bed sheets, like, I don't even know. They, they need to come up with a better way. <laughs> so that is a big con for me. A pro is that you can obviously save space. I love even like the, the thought of like having three beds on top of each other. We have a third. We have little three kids. And we have always thought it'd be kind of fun to have a third bunk on a bed. So that's kind of a fun idea. Um, and it saves a ton of space. Like their room used to be tiny and now it has space to play and that's exciting. So it saves great space. A con is they can be kind of expensive, but if you buy them like on Facebook Marketplace or other uh, like thrift store apps or even the stores, uh, you can get a pretty good deal. I think we got our bunk bed for $75. It had only been bought a month prior and the people decided the bunk beds weren't there for them. And so... They bought it like $200, $300, and they sold it for $75. And so we got a pretty good deal, especially after I sold the kids' bed separately. I think we paid maybe $15 or $20 over what we sold it for. Anyways, good price. Um, okay, a con for me is my kids always want me to climb up on the top bunk. Sorry, my back is sore. Um, top bunk, and I, I'm too big. I'm not like super big but it's still a little sketchy. Like my husband could not climb up on the top bunk without breaking it. So yeah, that would probably be a bad idea. Don't climb up on the top of the bunk. Anyways, there's some pros and cons. Check out our website, prosandcons.com. And I will link in the description below uh, the pros and cons of bunk bed, as well as an interesting article of the deaths of bunk beds. It'll be in an article. So check that out. It's kind of depressing, but something to be aware of. Anyways, have a good night. See ya. Bye.